All right, for this next problem, we have an equality that's not already set up for us. Um, we need to expand both of these binomials. Uh, having this factor will help us check, but let's just, fa let's just expand first. So x times x is x squared, minus 1 times x, so minus x, is equal to 2 times x, so 2x, plus 2 times 5, which is 10. Now we want to move this all to one side so that we have it equal to zero. Now we could move it to the left or to the right. I think moving it to the left is going to be a little bit better because then you keep the x squared term positive, which makes factoring easy. So we subtract 2x and we subtract 10. And we get x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals zero. It's at this point that we factor. So factors of negative 10 that combine to negative 3, negative 5, and 2. So x minus 5 and x plus 2 equals 0. Now the zero product property, we set each of these individually equal to 0. And x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 2. Now I'm going to check my answers because the original form is pretty easy to check with. So, 5 times 5 minus 1, which is 4, is equal to 2 times 5 plus 5, which is 10. So that's 20 equals 20. That's an equation. So, indeed, x equals 5 is a solution. How about negative 2? Negative 2 times negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3, is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 5, which is positive 3. So this is going to be positive 6, and this is going to be positive 6. So both answers are in fact solutions.